Hello friends, welcome back to the online classes. Uh, today I am going to take poem number 8, The Tree. So just the summary of the poem, The Tree. Now uh, the poem, The Trees by Adrian Rich, shows the conflict between man and nature. With the growth and development of society, human beings have used nature for their own benefit and caused a lot of harm to it. The poet wants to give the message that the presence of a few trees inside our homes does not become equal to nature. It is a very false idea of nature. Real nature is outside in the forest that we have destroyed. The poem tells us how the trees want to break free from the walls that humans have put around them and go out in the forest. That is a, a, a poem summary. The poet says that the trees you know, cannot be uh, tied up. Okay? We have cut the forest just in the name of uh, uh, what do you call it? to live, you know, to make the houses, to live for the people to live. We have cut the uh, forest by destroying the houses of many animals, many insects. We have become so selfish, what poet is saying that we have become so selfish that we have destroyed the uh, homes of uh, wildlife, the insects and all to live for ourselves, to becoming selfish. Uh, we cannot you know, uh, become uh, you know, selfish like this. We have to look after the uh, forest and all so that the animals can live. Second thing he says that simply keeping, you know, cutting the forest and then just uh, planting a tree or some flower pots in our home. It is not a substitute for the forest. The trees have become rebellious. They have changed themselves and they have just gone apart from the uh, houses. They have just gone. So that is a, a poem almost says. So I just read for you the poem once again. The trees inside are moving out into the forest. The forest that was empty all these days where no bird could sit, no insect hide, no sun bury its feet in shadow. The forest that was empty all these nights will be full of trees by morning. So that's what he says that the forest are moving into the back, you know, the trees are moving back to the forest which was empty for almost for these many days, you know, for weeks, months and all. With the forest which we had cut down, the trees are moving now. They are just going out of the houses, they are just moving ahead, you know, where the birds were not sitting, there was no, uh, the place for the insects were not there to hide. The sun could not have any shadow, you know, uh, the empty uh, forest uh, uh, is going to be filled uh, by morning. The trees are walking out of the houses in the night and by morning the whole forest will be there. All night the roots work to dis disengage themselves from the tracks in the veranda floor. The leaves strain towards the glass, small twigs stiff with exertion, long cramped bogs shuffling under the roof like newly discharged patients, half doors moving to the clinic doors. So he says that the roots are working, the roots have already worked. We know that uh, from the cracks of the wall or uh, kind of they sit out, you know, from there these roots come out, you know, they just break the walls, they just break the things and all and they just come out. That's the way how the trees are moving and that's what is it that they are all moving, the trees are all moving towards the forest by cracking on the verandas, on the walls and all. Even the leaves, the houses where, which are near the uh, trees, they are just pushing, the trees branches are coming out and <coughs> they are just pushing inside, outside into the windows, breaking the window panes, breaking the walls and all everything, They're just trying to move out. They are just walking just like a, uh, a patient, a patient who comes out of the hospital. How does he come? He comes very slowly, walking very slowly. No, same way, he is also walking slowly, the trees are also walking slowly, moving towards the forest. I sit inside, doors open to the veranda, writing long letters, in which I scarcely mention the departure of the forest from the house. The night is fresh, the whole moon shines, the sky still open, the smell of leaves and legion still reaches like a voice into the rooms. So he just says that he is just sitting and writing long letters to his friends and he doesn't mention 
about the trees that they are walking out of the uh, houses they are breaking the uh, coming out of the crack breaking the windows breaking the roofs and all and going towards back to the forest they, he is not writing all those things in the letter he just you no know, watching it just seeing it so the night is fresh the whole moon shines in the sky is still open so the night is still fresh full moon is there and still we can uh, smell the the newly uh, budded flowers the the new fruits which had come up you know in the uh, aroma of the uh, atmosphere so we can have that things everywhere my head is full of whispers which tomorrow will be silent listen the glass is breaking the trees are stumbling forward into the night winds rush to meet them the moon is broken like a mirror in pieces flash now in the crown of the tallest oh so my head is full of whispers no? my I, I, in my mind there are a lot of noises no? as if the trees are just walking out to talk to each other come on move fast go fast no? move slowly and slowly don't make noise uh, let these people sleep don't wake them up no? all the step up uh, talking is going on in my mind and uh, everything is in silent the glass is breaking the trees are stumbling forward the glass gla uh, glasses are break broken the trees are moving forward they're just bending down moving ahead we have seen that during the uh, strong wind is blowing so the trees bend you know they just bend forward that means they are walking towards and uh, when the the moon is broken how the moon is broken when we see from uh, under a tree from the uh, under the tree when we see, look at the moon because of the leaves how the moon looks like as if it is broken into pieces and one of the piece is sitting on the head of the tree the tallest oak tree it is just coming that means they are the king of the earth and that's true if these trees are not there then nothing can be can survive on this earth we we have we can see it you know the floods are coming the uh, landslides are coming why because the trees are not there the forests have been cut the trees the roots bound the soil together you know that's why the soil cannot move but when the trees are not there definitely the flood will come the the uh, landslides will be there so that's why the trees are the king of the earth i hope you might have understood the story thank you